You know, God not only tells you what to do, where to do it, and what, but God says, listen, I want you to know if you've got a problem, I already got the answer. He's gone before you, he's with you, and he said, if you've got a problem, he's already got the solution before you ever have it. Some of you come today and you've got a problem. But the problem is, you and me, we try to work out the problem. God says, listen, I've already got a problem, I've already got the solution to your problem. Sometimes God allows the problems in our life because he's trying to get us back on the, the right path. You, you're going to find it later on in Ephesians. He said, I've already preordained, preordained a path for you. And when you walk in it, it's a good life. So God allows, we get our, our direction from God's word, from the Holy Spirit, from our authorities and the problems in our lives. You can't control what's going on in the world, but God can. I, I know people that are all shook up about everything that's going, what's going to happen to me, what's going to happen to the world. I don't know, but God does. He's in control. See, if you're a Christian, you don't even have to worry about it because he's going to turn it all around to our good. Amen? So stop wandering around and start enjoying his word and get into his path. See, when Jesus told the two disciples, you go there, go immediately, told them where to go and what to do, guess what? The donkeys were there and he found them. Jesus in his word is trustworthy. Amen? But I want to remind you how fickled, how changeable, how inconsistent, how untrustworthy people can be. <laughs> the, the, the people on one side, they were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. A week later, they were saying, crucify him, crucify him. See, see, when Jesus came in, they were saying, Hosanna, that means save me now, save me now. You're the Savior. I mean, I, I believe it. But when he didn't do what they wanted, crucify him, crucify him. Let me tell you what that means. You can have people in your life as long as you're giving and doing for them. <laughs> oh, man, you're the greatest. I love you. Love you, love you. I'm going to be with you forever. You love me, I love you. And we're, we're, we're all agreeing with each other. And then you stop or you can't do it anymore. Oh, 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 you sucker, traitor, I hate you. <laughs> and some of you are surprised when that happens. It happens in families. It happens in marriages. It's, 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 it's just going to happen. But God's teaching you something. Sometimes he wants you to trust in him. That's why it tells you in 1 Corinthians 2, 5, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of man, but what? The power of God. So the next time that happens, say, hey, man, God may be either changing my directions or he's trying to get me, my faith to be in him and not a person.